A new survey says that parts of Southwest Florida are actually ranked as one of the top 10 worst places to commute in the entire country. So today, of course, we're testing that theory. Brake lights and backups. You see all of those driving around Southwest Florida. Traffic on major roads like Colonial Boulevard, Del Prado Boulevard, Santa Barbara. Even I can get turned around with all this traffic and I'm from here. Backups like this landing the Cape Coral, Fort Myers area in the top 10 on Money Geek's list of worst cities to commute. Ranked higher, get this, than areas known for traffic like Atlanta, Orlando, Miami, and Chicago. Of course, on the day when I set out determined to show you just how bad traffic can be in our area, it's flowing perfectly. But that's not always the case and many of you agree. I tell we overcrowded. Everybody's in a hurry. There's, there's all these accidents that don't need to be. Everybody's texting. Texting all the time. Too many people, not enough roads. People just aren't paying attention. Every time you look over, somebody's on the phone. Well, I think it's horrible. It's kind of crazy. Like when the light's green, that doesn't mean you can go on Southwest Florida. Everybody runs reds. All right, so I grabbed some food for my producer Molly and I, and I also got a chance to grab some more details from the people who work here at Pete's Fish and Chips right off of Del Prado. They tell me, yes, they have seen an increase in cars here, especially around rush hour and during the lunchtime hours as well. They say that's really happened since the pandemic, and they tell me there's a major concern about the number of accidents they see here too. Driving safety is something we talk about a lot here at Fox 4, even getting to and from our own station. All right, so we're going to U-turn on Southwest Pine Island Road. We face the same congestion you do. The Money Geek study actually says the average commute can take 31 minutes here in Fort Myers and the Cape. Florida's Department of Traffic and Motor Safety says the best way to stay alert is to keep your eyes off your phone and on the road. Do you see anything when you're on the roads, like people texting or what are you seeing? Uh, a lot of dumb people. 